Hello, I'm FKX Toy Cat, and a lot of people have seen my brand new Never Volcano recently and asked exactly how and why did you build this? And although the why question is kind of hard to answer, I mean, why does anyone do anything anyway, especially in Minecraft? The how question is something I can meticulously answer because I did document the 14 or so hours that I'm going to be showing you across today's video. So let's do that. But first, I just want to quickly remind you that did you know, statistically, most house fires happen to people that aren't subscribed to the IBX Toy Cat YouTube channel. If you'd like to change that and increase your resistance to house fires, you can do that right now by hitting subscribe. Or we could just dive into the rest of the video. By the way, now you see why there's scaffolding in here. It's a safety feature. Hello, I'm FKX Toy Cat, and to be honest with you, I don't really like this mountain because it's not particularly big, it's not particularly interesting, but it is something I see all the time when walking around my Minecraft world, and I figured I would change that. And given that I've got an overworld in both my nether and my end, and I've even built a nether in my end, I had the dumb idea of why not build a nether in my overworld by converting this entire mountain biome into a netherrack volcano, and inside that volcano, we could have a nether in the overworld, and then that never in the overworld could connect my overworld in the nether via a portal, so you go through the portal, you'd be really confused. It would be confusing, but I think it would be a lot of fun. This will take me many hours because we have to cover the entire biome, but I think it will be worthwhile, and so we're going to spend a few hours just covering the outside of Neverack and starting to see if it is a worthwhile project. So I hope you will enjoy joining me on this project, but we're going to jump ahead a few hours after I've done a few hours of streaming and placing Neverack on the mountain to see what it looks like then. Today we're going to be taking this Neverack over to uh, the dark night of the world, and we're going to be covering a mountain entirely because I feel like, you know what, I need some never in my overworld. It's it's something I'm lacking. I have never in my end. I have overworld in my never. I have overworld in my end, but where is the never in my overworld? It's just, la it's just missing. It's just one of the great shames of my life, and that's a shame we're going to be fixing today because this mountain over here, as you can see, it's kind of boring. Like, the truth be told, uh, extreme hills that generated, even like even going up to like right now, like if if you're not playing uh, with amplified on, extreme hills are just sad to look at. Any biome besides like the Savannah Mountain uh, doesn't have a good uh, mountain going on. So this 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 mountain, which is a great enough shape but just boring in consistency, takes the desert or as it is now the Torch Desert over to the big flat plains, and it's ugly, it's boring. What if it was exciting? What if perhaps it was covered in some nevrak? So we're gonna start over here. This seems like a good place, Sunny. And we're uh, going to place down our Neverack box, grab some Neverack out, and there's Blackstone in here too, it seems. And then we'll go to sleep and deal with this. Just in case, you know, there's a spider spawning. I don't like spiders. I don't want to be snuck off on by a creeper. Neverack's a really great block in so many ways, but it has one of the weakest blast resistances, which is kind of on purpose. So if you do want to build out of it, just know. Uh, creepers will wreck it. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We'll be doing a survive project and the, the best bit about these is like it's an opportunity to chill, play some Minecraft, to talk about some stuff. So yeah, every time we, we should place a torch, we're gonna try to do that. It's gonna be kind of tricky as we go up the mountain, but we'll see what we're doing. And yeah, you can see how like it's like a never act corruption. It's gonna slowly just expand right now. It's just like, oh, looks like a ruined portal. And then they might describe themselves Maybe as... A mountain of wet meat. When you walk on the wet meat mountain, it sounds like wet <laughs> meat. <laughs> Oh, oh no. Squish, squish, oh, squish, squish. Why, why, why did I, what did I just listen to? I really don't know. So as you can see, the mountain, I, I like looking at the progress every now and then. I, th I think this is good. I should have brought a bed with me though, because I'm gonna have to fly to one every time. But you know, I'm pretty fly for a Minecraft guy. Also, uh, I'm glad people are liking my, my little fun project here. I, I like how this is looking. I think we've made some fun progress. I think this cave is gonna give me issues though. Should we just block it up? Pretend there's no cave. Uh, it's not a particularly big cave. Oh, but it does connect two different parts. And I kind of like that. Maybe I should mostly block it up and like the little slits in here. Yeah, that way. I, I mean, I'll, I'll do that later. For now, we can just like block up at the, the inside. I have now placed all the Nevrak. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited that people like to see my world. Well, honestly, one of the things that I like about YouTube is like showing off a thing I did in Minecraft. And as dumb as this was to spend two hours working on this, for instance, I like that we did, and I'm looking forward to finish doing more of this in the future. Obviously, I've got to fill up a lot more of these shulker boxes before then, and believe me, I will. We might have to do a mining Neverack stream. Okay, so we're about three hours now into placing the Neverack on the mountain. You can see it's actually looking pretty decent. Like, the mountain has kept its shape, but it's now got this red Neverack kind of tint to it. It looks really great, except in the areas where the stone and the dirt's showing through, but I think a few more hours of doing that and we'll be good. I say a few more hours, but if you look, even after three hours and literally uh, about 10,000 blocks placed, 
you can see how there's still all of this left to cover, as well as this entire other side. I think I underestimated how long it takes to cover a mountain, and I also underestimated um, how semi-bland it looks when you just use Neverack. So I'm starting to now pepper around a few Nether Quartz blocks. I mean, if we take away a block here and there, we can, uh, you know, throw in a bit of Nether Quartz. And I think it should just make things look a little bit more natural. So what do you think? I think it looks better. Anyway, I'll get back to you in a few more hours. Good use for Neverack? Arguably so. Um, we can actually use this, like, in my opinion, we could do some cool stuff on the inside, I think. Like, we could, like, have a, like, mini Never on the inside or something like that. Uh, then we could even put a Never Portal in there, and then it would link to the one in the overworld. Oh god, that's such a cool idea. Idea you could make a volcano. Yeah, it might be cool if we, like, that actually would be a really cool idea if we, like, take the center of this, hollow it out a little bit, then we could make, like, a Never in there. That's a really fun idea. I like that idea a lot. We should definitely do that. Actually, yeah, let's cover the mountain besides, like, a specific circle that will turn into the mountain hole. No, over here, I guess, is the perfect spot for it. So we'll make a circle now. We use this as a baseline, and uh, let's go for it, I guess. So one, two, three, four, five. I don't even know how to make circles anymore. Honestly, I'm lost and confused. So, oh god, where do we go to? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three. And then, like, one, two. One, two. Oh god, no, it's not one, two. It's like... One, and then maybe... You know, it's been a while since I've done this, okay? I'm gonna be honest with you. I... <laughs> been a while since I made a circle. Let's see if this works. No, that's not gonna work. It's too big. Gotta make the circle smaller. Or at least slightly less leftwards. So let's try... One, two... And then, like... One, two... Straight into the two. And oh, no, that's gonna be such a rough edge. Although we kinda need a rough edge for... Something like this, right? I'm gonna probably add some garnish. You know, is garnish a valid term in Minecraft blocks? If it isn't yet, it will be soon. I'm gonna add some garnish to it soon, but I'm gonna be covering this entire thing in Neverack, so we have a Never Mountain from which to then garnish. You know, the more I use the word, actually, the more questionable it seems. How do we make a G with 4x4 four four space? I don't think we can do it. I generally... Wait, we'd have to, like... No, we can do it. Badly. Okay, this is, this is my plan. Can we write long boy... In text. You know, that's my G <laughs> for now. <laughs> Long and then boy. B. Oh, B's gonna be impossible too, actually. Oh no, a B's, a, B, a B's really easy, actually. That looks like Long Koi now. Okay, it's fine. And then we just. One last letter. So now if we fly in the sky, I think you'll find. A. Long B. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the O. <laughs> also, that somehow does look like a B. Oh no, my, my, my flint and steel ran out. It's gonna have to stay as long bull. <laughs> I tried my best. I'd say we're 99% done with this mountain. Like, you can see there's some clear missing area. Oh, not 99%. We're, we're like 75%. One more stream and I think we're good to go. And uh, so then we're gonna place some magma. Stuff like that. We might have to do a stream of getting magma, actually. I, I genuinely don't know. You can see how beautiful and majestic it looks when it is covered in Neverack. And then you can see the ugly kind of bold spots. The bold spots we intend to fix in today's live stream. This is the last one. By the end of today, it will be entirely Neverack covered besides a circle at the top we're going to be turning into a Neverworld uh, kind of thing. I thought this would be like a one, maybe two stream project. But I made a very deep underestimation of uh, just how many it would really take. Uh, I, honestly, like, working in a mountain's kind of hard, but that's why my, my goal here today is, like, st keep things simple. We're gonna be uh, just kind of working on the side as we go here. It's hard to work out what should even be included and what not, but I guess anything above the torches from the desert should start to be considered this. And then later, if that looks ugly, we can replace them with glowstone. So that we, we keep, still keep the, the desert lit, but we can still do this. Also, I think I'm out of Neverack. I've got one more shulker box full, and then I might be out permanently, too. This is gonna be a huge problem. Let's let's go fly. Let's let's go get some more net rack. Okay, I'm gonna grab some shulker boxes. We're gonna fill these with never. I've got one more shulker box filled net rack here, so I'll take this one because I'm gonna need it, and then I'll fill two more up, and we'll probably be good. I am more than four extra hours in at this point. And still, it is not entirely done. But I do have to say, the bits that are mostly done are looking really good. I'm liking the very 
you know, outside look at this so far. Uh, even if it was just the simple project of covering a mountain in Evrak, I think there is some joy to be had here. Obviously, we're going a little bit further than that today, but there's just something fun about taking terrain that's clearly meant to be used one way and then kind of distorting it into another way. And this mountain really shows that to the max. But yeah, we've uh, still got more to do. I'm going to be doing lo one last big push to actually cover the mountain in Nevrak. But yeah, for now, let's finish what we're missing, I guess. Okay, so we've entirely never act the mountain, but now the important question comes. And that important question is what do we do with this tree? I think we should replace it with a never tree. And so I'm gonna ask my live chat, what do you want? A crimson tree or a warped tree? What, what do you want? Blue tree, red tree? Decide chat right now. We could go for crimson. We could go for warped. Blue tree, red tree future video moment. This poll will be in that video. Your All of your responses are gonna be shown in there. Uh, I feel like I'm seeing a lot more blue. Yeah, I think, I think blue is a better contrast, honestly. You know what, you have convinced me. So chat voted for the warp fungus, so I headed across my world. Now we can remove the tree and all of its terrible bearings. We'll just shear those out of it. Oh, actually I might break my shears by doing that. You know what, we'll come back in a minute. Okay, so we're gonna place down our warp nilium. I only need nine blocks because you know what? It's a very small little patch of it. And then where this torch is, actually I guess next to the torch. You know, I haven't considered this one all the way through. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little warp fungus, place it down there, and pray that this grows it up. Oh, okay, gonna need more bones. <laughs> Oops. Okay, I, I, I brought some more bones. It's, it's gonna go better this time, I think. And there we go, look at that. So now there's just a random blue tree where there previously was a green one. I actually like it, I think it fulfills the exact same role. Really adds to the feel that this isn't just a never rack mountain, this is a never mountain. Or potentially a never volcano later, huh? It took such an ungodly number of hours, way more than I thought, but we have now covered an entire volcano in Nevrak, bar this little center, because what is a volcano without a lava hole? Yeah, lava hole is the, the geographic term, I'm pretty sure that's true. So we need to have a lava hole, and I want to do it in a fun way where you can get through it, which means we're going to have to use some signs, and this will be a Let's Play in case you're curious, but I'm going to be making this into the lava hole, and let's see how that goes. However, now that means, you know, for it to be a Nevrak volcano, you need to have uh, some point at the top where there's lava spewing out, etc. And so that point is what I've decided will be here. But then, you know, rather than just having lava spew out, because that's no fun, I want to have something inside of the volcano. I've always been inspired by Super Mario 64's Lava Lava Land. Uh, this idea of like you jump in the volcano and there's like a whole other world going on in there. And so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be building a rim around it. As you can see, this is uh, a rim or the rim. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some signs to do something which doesn't make any sense that you should be able to use wooden signs to do. Let's make some acacia signs. I can apparently only make one. What am I missing? Oh, acacia. <laughs> I was like, I have so many acacia logs. How am I? But it's because they're logs and not planks. And then we, so we make some planks, we make some signs, and then, oh God, we have an inventory issue because we, you, you know, we'll, we'll deal with this in, in a little bit. We'll just throw some of these. I wish I didn't have this box being perfectly filled. We'll throw some of these into there. But yeah, I'm going to be placing uh, these acacia signs all the way along the cross at, at, at top. It's going to be a lot of fun. So we can place signs. We're not going to write anything on the signs. They're just going to be signs. And then from those signs, we place other signs and so on and so forth. And the cool thing about this, you can probably see that all this is going ready. The cool thing about placing signs down is you can place fluids on top of those signs and they, will, uh, they won't go through them because the sign counts as a full block, even though it's not sort of. Just to confirm this works, I did you know, this one has a Y on it. Now now you like that. Um, but let's just quickly go confirm. Uh, we're gonna have to go grab a bucket from somewhere. We'll go grab multiple buckets, actually. You know, I'm gonna treat myself to lots of buckets. And as you can see, the lava, even though it will light fires, it will never burn the signs. I don't know why it doesn't burn the signs. Actually, I think it should burn the signs. I could be wrong. Like, uh, I, I looked into the, the wiki, and the wiki page says that on bedrock, signs are flammable. But flammable maybe just means that they spread fire. Or maybe it means worse things. We're gonna find out. And if it means the first one, I'm gonna lose a lot of sign progress if it means the first one, huh? But yeah, the idea here is I wanna have a volcano where it's one layer of lava, but you can fly through the lava. If you're brave, you can jump through the lava. Maybe I'll have some water on the other side too. But if you jump through the lava, you'll find what's actually on the other side. 
And we're going to place them on the right here so that if they do burn, they shouldn't. They, they didn't in my testing. But you never know in Minecraft Bedrock. You never know. So we've got to place a block there. And then we can place a sign on the side of that block. I don't know how that lava didn't light me on fire, but I'm glad it didn't. So we place it there. And then we place one on there. Is this even go- Aye, we did it. I found the solution. So yes, this is the tricky part of the volcano, the top bit with all of the lava. I really like the way, you know, this many signs look in one place. And I really like the fact that we can place this lava anywhere on top of the signs. And you can just kind of watch it pour over them. Again, there's just a certain beauty in this that I really do like. <laughs> uh, I, I think it looks cool from above, but it looks way better from below. But yeah, if we want to have this be covered entirely in lava, we need a lot of lava buckets. Like, you know what, bringing nine buckets of lava, it's not going to do. Bringing 10 buckets of lava, still not enough. Even, you know, if we bring 11 buckets, still not enough lava. So we're going to have to go get a lot of lava from the uh, nether. Fortunately, I happen to know a place where you can get your hands on a lot of lava very quickly because it, it's just everywhere around her, you know, the, the never. Kind of has lakes filled with lava. Mostly very inconvenient and can kill you. Sometimes a very big uh, <laughs> source of lava if you want it to be, which can be great for builds. I know I bring this up a lot, but one of the things I'm kind of excited about for 1.17 is the ability to have infinite lava, like to farm a small amount of lava into a big amount of lava, because doing this is just such a weird Minecraft activity. Like, it doesn't feel rewarding. It doesn't feel fun. And then he- Whoa! See, that's the worst bit. You always throw- <laughs> I always throw lava buckets into lava. And you know, why do they burn? Why does a lava bucket that you throw into lava burn? It doesn't make any sense. How does the lava burn the lava? You might say, oh, it's because, you know, the bucket is, is resistant to lava. Then hey, if, if the bucket is burnable by lava, sorry, then how exactly is it holding it right now? As you can see, it's just, it's, it doesn't make any sense. The lava doesn't even go back to it. It's just one of those weird Minecraft inconsistencies that only I'm upset about, but I am upset about it and I want the world to know. And now I place down the remaining signs and then on top of those remaining signs, I use my copious number of lava buckets. And what can we do? We can make this lava layer complete, I hope. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think I'm gonna make this every single uh, source block. I know a lot of people love source blocks because they're more like pure. It's it's even. It doesn't have this weird like jaggedness to it. But I think the hell of completing that up here is something that would give me a little bit of like presentation benefit. Like people looked at it and be like, wow, that sure is some flat lava. But I don't think a volcano needs to have flat lava. It's not like a still body of lava, you know? It's a uh, it's a lot of lava in one place. It's, it's, it's meant to be bubbly. It's meant to go up and down because it's lava. That's my opinion. What do you think? Am I am I just saying this because I, I don't want to place lava? I mean that which is definitely true, by the way. Also, why is it vanishing on the signs? Do you see this? It's just I'm placing a lava bucket down. And oh god, I think that was too close to hit. Oh god. Okay, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, I accidentally jumped into the lava. Which is a weird sentence. Like this is not a normal way to get hit by lava. But it is a way that you can get hit by lava. Am I still going to burn if I crouch, actually? There's a fun question I haven't ever answered. Can you crouch on bedrock? Because I know on Java you can. You cannot crouch under lava, although that's actually... Oh god, that's the fire, I think, that's burning me now. Okay, so we definitely shouldn't be doing this. But just for fun, can we crouch under... Ah, you can crouch underneath lava. But if I go up again... Oh no, I can even stand here just fine. The lava is literally on top of my head. <laughs> There's a pixel gap between it, which means if I look up, I'll just see this. Do you ever see the lava texture from underneath? I bet you don't. Did you know it like moves around even when it's static? I bet you didn't. Ah, you probably did. Precisely placing lava on top of signs is a trickier activity than you might assume. Maybe I'm making this too hard for myself. Or maybe there's just some art to this that I haven't gotten. I'm not sure which of those things is true right now. But I do know I'm having a hard time of it. Also, oh, please no death. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> so, now the plan is we place the signs, and like magic, for whatever reason, the signs make the lava go away. Does this make any sense under the physics we understand in the real world? No, it does not. Does that mean I don't enjoy it anyway? That would also be untrue. And just like this, we now have a kind of volcanic crater. We have the summit where there's lots of lava because this is what mountains have 
on the top, or rather volcanoes have. And then if we jump underneath it, which should be easy enough to do, again, made easier by the fact that I didn't use source blocks. I know there's gonna be some criticism of that, but like, look at the beauty that is this from below. It lights it up like it's daytime all the time, and I, I really like that. And now we've got this really cool space inside of the mountain, which obviously has a bit too much dirt. I mean, this is meant to be kind of like the never but in the overworld, so we need to remove all this dirt now, and we need to replace it with some nevering. Yeah, I really can't get over how much I like this already. Like, there's already a solid entrance. We've already got the Neverack mountain that we've got the big parts of it that most people need, but now we need to do the parts that people don't need, and it's gonna take, honestly, quite a few hours of mining, which is great because that's what I enjoy doing uh, while I live stream. By the way, do you know that a lot of this stuff, in fact, you do know because this videos, these videos, uh, project videos, mostly make up of highlights of this. But do you know that you can watch these live? And that's what I do on my YouTube channel. Wow, I bet you didn't know that. And then that's a whole little thing you can come watch if you want to. I think that was the worst self-promo ever. I just said, hey, there are streams. You can watch them. Where are they? I don't know. You don't know either. You know what? Find them, damn it. Actually, I like that as my promo of myself, though. I make streams. Where are they? You know what? You can probably find them. You're smart. <laughs> let's not do the walk through the like, oh, you've got to smash the thumb because if you don't, like, let, let, let's not, let's, let's not handhold you. Let's just say, yeah, there are live streams out there. You can find them. The subscribe button, it exists. You'll know whether you, you need to do it or not based on your, your status on, of, of subscription or not. You, you know how subscribing on YouTube works. It's, a, it's not a new website. It's been around for a couple of decades now. You know, it's, it's all good. Anyway, so the volcano is this rather delightful thing right here. But we can fall through it, and then we're underneath the volcano. But the problem is, is even though we have this delightful space down here, right now, kind of lacking. How is it lacking, I hear you ask? Uh, it needs to be bigger, and it needs to be more of a fixed space. I don't know if we want it to be necessarily square, but I think we want to square it off. Campfires and hay bells for a smoky, a smoky volcanic effect, says Cole J. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, if I put a bunch of campfires. Oh, I, I really like that idea, actually. I don't know. Wait, we should. Yeah, we might have to try that. That's that's already, you know, what, Cole J, comment of the day. And that seems like it's like, oh, so that's, oh, God, we can't see the lava. We can just see. <laughs> that was bizarre. That was bizarre. So, Cat, could you put a layer of water under the lava to counteract the burning damage? Yeah, my plan is to have some amount of water, like, in the center somewhere, maybe. How do we make fire, uh, campfires, chat? Is it four logs and one coal? Let's just look at the recipe. You know, we're here, anyway. A campfire is... Oh, we don't have any of the ingredients. Is it even called a campfire? Add some fire coral and some volcano fishies. Oh, volcano fish does sound pretty fun. Oh, I want to build the never inside of here. I just realized it was meant to be the never. Ah, well, we're here anyway. <laughs> I like the idea of the magma floor. Maybe some blackstone would have gone well. Yeah, it could have been like under, I guess we're under the lava here. You know, I don't know what we're doing at all. It does look like the never because of the orange tint that everything has. Okay, so let's, oh God, I forgot about that. Yeah, so let's just, let's find the center of this first actually. That seems like a smart thing to do. And then also just for fun over here. And then one more, just over here. It's so weird walking. Like, this is my third person view. I am... <laughs> I'll be able to see this, like, immediately. Oh, God. Oh, God. Speaking of not fun for you, I am on fire. Today I learned hay bells can burn that way. Okay, well, I guess I learned a valuable lesson about... You know, isn't it dumb that it can go... Oh, no. Okay, we're, we're fine. Are the campfires on fire? I didn't realize... Okay, so there we go. We got, like... We got a little... Little thing happening here. Oh, okay. Okay, but let's let's see if any of these burn at all. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, and it's all gonna Will they burn? Chat, do you think they're gonna burn? I have a I have a suspicion they might. Yeah, I don't I <laughs> I don't think that was a very smart idea. I think we just wasted eight hay bells. Yeah, I, I like that idea a little bit. Like have it spill a tiny bit over one of these sides. Yeah, here is the place that makes the most sense. If we're just over here, it's a little, a little bit, a little bit of spillage. I wonder how far it would go. You know, let's let's find out. Oh no! I bet I broke. No, no, no! Please don't tell me. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Okay, I didn't break a block that had signs on it because I would have broken the whole row of signs. Thank God I didn't. Also, I love that the fires are just <laughs> always consuming all sides. 
We need to go see where the lava's been spilling. Okay, chat. Oh god, it's spilt everywhere. Oh god, it is spilt. I do like that look though. Isn't that crazy? I broke one block and we made that amount of lava. Okay, let's put it back now. We need a different block, clearly. Just keep the block or else you have to replace the desert torches. Oh, you're right. Yep. You're not. <laughs> oh, which block was it? I'm not sure anymore. We're gonna have to, you know what? We're gonna lose a few more desert torches. Oh, help me. Help me chat. I don't know what block it was. <laughs> it doesn't matter. There are no signs attached to the top layer. Oh, are you right, Thomas A? Yeah, I guess you would be right. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You're all... Screw it. I guess we're burning more. Well, do you want to see some lava pour? Let's get a nice viewing angle from this, actually. Yeah, right here. Oh, yeah. Look, look at this. Look at the glory. I might as well have not placed the nev rack underneath it. I'm just realizing now. I'm about to witness some lava-based glory, and it's covering up the nev rack that I spent hours placing. Oh, look at this, look at this. This is the this is the glorious moment. Okay, so in this final stream working on the exterior, as well as a little bit of the interior, um, I, I made some jungle flooring. You can see it really does look like the never, even when it's just neverack walls, because of that lava glare that it's kind of giving it, you can also see that placing some campfires gives this really nice smoke effect to the volcano. And then I broke just a single neverack block, and that resulted in some lava spilling, maybe this amount of lava spilling. It's, it's, it's a lot and it's spilled into the torch desert, but I think it really adds and it starts to fill in that volcano look that I really like. And now we have just a few last touches to make. So just to help with the decoration of the biome kind of around it, because it kind of is a volcano biome, it's not just a single volcano, at least in my head. I guess you get to make whatever you want in Minecraft. That's the beautiful thing. You can go as far or as small as you like for plan. And uh, so the fondness I want to take this is I really like this little magma lake. It's really basic. I just surrounded the lake with magma, but I really like the way it looks. So I figure, given that I've got a few of these lakes that just kind of exist in this area anyway, I've got one just over here, as you can see, and then I've got one over there. I figure let's put some magma between these two lakes and kind of have, again, a volcano base covered in magma. So let's do a stream for that. I have a lot of magma blocks lying around, like, in addition to this whole chest, I had some in this chest over here. I just, I just have too many magma blocks, and I feel like I also have a little bit of an issue, in that I have a big lake that's filled with magma blocks that just needs a bit more, because I have this here lake, which as you can see, has clearly, I, I really like the way the magma looks around the edge, but it looks like it just needs a bit more. Something about it, it's just, it's just kind of lacking right now. And so my plan is to place more magma over here, but rather than just having one magma lake, I figured why not have another mega magma lake. I think magma blocks are really pretty, like they're visually quite interesting. And uh, as a result, we're gonna be placing magma over there, over here, and maybe everywhere in between, who knows. I, 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 I've also considered, you know, this, this lake over here, should I have this be coated in magma to have a clear distinction between the torch biome and the, the never biome? I mean, it, <laughs> <laughs> it does seem very on brand that like we're just slowly terraforming every biome. You know, what? okay, first of all, let's go down here and let's uh, remove the bottom of this uh, lake and let's put some magma in its place. Actually, I think magma might get rid of water source blocks. If you, I, am I crazy for thinking that, chat? Does magma get rid of water sources or something? I'm being like dragged to this wall back here. Do you see, like, I'm, I'm moving forwards, then I'm leaving my control off, and it's like dragging me- Oh, I'm gonna die. I, I do streams for all these things, because the, these take hours, and playing playing Minecraft for hours, I think it's really useful when you've got some form of podcast thing going, or perhaps you listen to a Toy Cat live stream, or if you are a Toy Cat, you do the live stream, because it's fun to talk about these things. Although, like, paying for delivery on my food- My boss is South African, and he sounds Scottish to me, but not as Scottish as my Scottish co-worker who I cannot understand. We need to upgrade the server. I enjoy that a lot. I enjoy Streamlabs trying to do a uh, Scottish accent. Let's stand on the very edge. Let's put people on edge and let's do this. Let's just stand right here. <laughs> I want to make it as uncomfortable as possible. And let's go look up. 
be in my calculator? Am I slightly out? Am I an average weight or am I technically overweight? The time has finally come for me to give you a tour of the completed mega volcano. So as you can see, we've got this nice little magma around the base. This started just as something that was around the water because I thought it looked kind of weird and interesting, but I started to expand it and I really like the magma at the base of the volcano thing. Uh, you know, I, I realize it even makes sense in the real world. Uh, I'd like to claim that I was thinking that when I did it. Oh my God, I missed a block. One sec. So I really like this magma around the outside. I really like that it has a natural mountain shape. Um, there's something interesting about natural mountains of Minecraft that they look kind of dumb. No one would ever try to make something that looked like them, but you get this very unique uh, touch by following the uh, you know natural mountain. I really like it. Also, obviously, when we get to the top, we get this rather nice uh, kind of uh, <laughs> volcano effect. I like that there's a pool of lava. I like that it's uneven. A lot of people are big, big, big fans of flat lava. I'm, I'm not such a big fan. I like that this is flowing everywhere, kind of unstably. There's smoke coming from it. In case you're curious as to where the smoke, smoke comes from, allow me to show you how you get into this. So the safest way in, funnily enough, is actually to use fireworks. But if you're just over here, the best way in is you just jump in and you hope for the best. A few seconds later, you're down under here and you can see that, yes, this is my nether in the overworld. The beautiful thing about it is the lava provides a lot of light so you can see everywhere always, but it actually doesn't distinctly look like the, again, to me, it has those never vibes, ignoring the trees and the shroom lights and the lava um, and the, and the never rack, of course. It just has like a slightly darker vibe than you're probably used to. And I really, really like that. But just to add to it, because I thought, you know what, just because you see my, my respawn anchors and just because you see uh, you know, like all this stuff around here. It's not enough for some people. So I also have made myself some <laughs> Neverant caves to get around here. Um, I, I've, I've, I contemplated whether or not to put torches in them or whether I've just used fire. I think having the odd torch, odd fire does really add to something around here. And yeah, this is my Neverant volcano. My attempt at recreating a little bit of the Never inside of the overworld. I have considered putting a portal in here, but it doesn't link correctly. I thought that'd be so cool if you entered the, the Never portal while you're here in the Never and then went to the overworld, but the overworld was in the Never and the Never was in the overworld. It almost worked out perfectly, but not quite. So now instead what I have to do to see that overworld in the never as opposed to vice versa is fly all the way over here and then go through this portal instead. I know this is a very normal portal design. I like it personally. But let's just imagine that that was inside of the never in the overworld. Imagine how confused people would get when they teleported from the never cave to the overworld cave, but they were also flipped. Uh, I'd say the noises in this one give it away a bit, but I really love having an overworld in my nether and now having a nether in my overworld. And I hope you all enjoyed this project video where I showed you exactly how and why I made it. If you did or like it, you can like the video and let me know. It's a great way to support the channel, but way more importantly, subscribing so that you don't die in a volcano fire is just as important. And you gotta make sure you do that too, because you never know. You could be next, it could be any time. We always assume it's not us. But, you know, it's always someone. And if everyone assumes it's not them, then you know what? It has to be someone eventually. Anyway, yeah, this was a very dumb project, but I'm glad it exists in my world. And I hope you're glad too. Also, <laughs> I always spot these like tiny single block gaps that I have to go in and fix. So like, there we go. Fix that one as well. Um, but yeah, I, I like this. Do you like this? Uh, if you want to do it in your world, uh, this is one of those random things that I found while exploring worlds. Because I see this right here, this Neverack Mountain covered in snow. And I think, oh my god, how have I not done this? Why why do I not have a Never Mountain in my overworld? A Neverack Mountain. I, I love when I look at a world and it inspires me. And you have done a great job here. So, you know, a little, little golf clap for you. Yeah, I really want to have my own Never Mountain. I, I think the snow on top especially just makes it... Something, something I just need to have in my world. And it's one of those just like simple build ideas that was so enjoyable to do and that I'm glad I finally did pull off right here. And if you enjoyed it, I would just love to know if uh, you choose to do something like this for yourself because I don't make uh, glossy, fancy builds in Minecraft. Wait, is that, is that obvious? I think that's obvious. Um, but what I do like to do is I like to inspire people to play around and have some more fun in survival. And if I did that, then I consider this time well spent. And if you consider this time well spent, then go watch another video because this one's over. Goodbye.